If you want a premium convertible without spending that much on an HP Spectre, the NVX 360 13 comes in as a very good alternative. It has efficient hardware with good performance and a fantastic selection of displays. Don't go anywhere to hear all about it. The laptop has a stylish aluminum chassis with black finish that weighs only 1.3 kilograms, while the profile is measured at 16.1 millimeters. The device is incredibly durable, as both the lid and base don't even budge. The lid is a bit difficult to open, due to the stiff hinges, while the rounded edges don't allow you to grip it properly. However, once you find the strength to open the lid, you see a keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback, which is very surprising considering the thickness of the machine. The touchpad is great as well, as the surface is large and smooth, while the pad itself is very accurate. The laptop gets generally good input-output coverage, with an audio jack, a micro SD card slot, and a full-size 10 gigabit USB port on the left. On the opposite side, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports and one more full-sized USB port. Both ports are jawed, to shave some extra millimeters off the profile. The NVX 360 13 comes with three display options, all with a 16-10 aspect ratio. The first two use IPS panels with either FHD Plus or QHD Plus resolution. Lastly, there's a 2.8K OLED panel. We went with the FHD Plus option, which is excellent for both daily work and creator work. The unit reaches 413 nits of brightness, while also covering 98% of the sRGB gamut. The color accuracy reaches really good levels with our design and gaming profile, with a Delta E value of 0.8. We'll have links to our profiles in the description below. The 66.5 Wh battery pairs really well with the Core i7-1250U, lasting for 17 hours and 51 minutes of web browsing, or 17 hours and 13 minutes of video playback. These are exceptional results. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. While the Core i7 is very efficient, with a base TDP of 9 watts, it also manages to deliver good performance. It still gets outperformed by the i7-1255U and the i7-1265U in 3D rendering, but the chip is very competitive in 2D rendering, trading punches with the aforementioned CPUs, while being much faster than the Ryzen 7 5800U and Ryzen 7 6800U. The laptop keeps itself cooled with only one heat pipe and one fan. Despite the low-profile cooling, the Core i7-1250U runs really well, maintaining a sub-25 watts power limit in long runs at only 74 degrees Celsius. As for comfort, while the hotspot does go to nearly 49 degrees Celsius, it's isolated in one spot so it doesn't affect your use. Noise isn't a problem at all even during an extreme load. Like most other tiny laptops, the memory is soldered, so any configuration is final. You can get up to 16GB of LPDDR4X RAM. Storage-wise, you have one M.2 slot with support for ultra-fast generation for SSDs. You can check out our teardown video in the description below. The HP NVX 360 13 is a compact and powerful convertible that can be used for a variety of scenarios, including simple office work or design and rendering tasks, thanks to the beautiful display. It also runs really cool and quiet, so you can quickly transition into tablet mode and relax by reading a book whenever you want. For more information about the laptop, go over to our website, where we have a bunch more tests that cover the entire device from head to toe.